Big Dark Tactics. Ascension level 80. Let's try it out. Let's see what we can do here. What kind of a deck can we make? Pommel Strike. I don't know if these are particularly good. I'll take the damage. Mummified hand, okay. You can stack powers maybe. Would be very good for demon form if you can find that. Is there a shop close by? Not really. That curse would hurt us before we reach any shops. But having 200 gold would be very nice. Maybe we could make it past two enemies and get to this shop. I'm gonna risk it. Losing more health. To remove the duck. Very nice. Okay, we can kill these two for free. And get some of our health back too. Shrug it off. Tends to be good. Lagavulin whiskey. Molten egg. Okay, attacks are upgraded. This could be very good. Of course, we get no attacks, but it's the upgrade version. Well, it's just one seven to every enemy and vulnerable. Would be worth it. Weak and vulnerable to every enemy. But the weakening could be very good. Maybe. Don't really know. What is the best path? Maybe five is a bit overkill. Let's upgrade this one. Let's hope we get some better cards too. I've been very lucky with those at all. Hmm. Cool. Debuffing slime balls. Things you do. We became frail and weak. I think we can still do it. Slice you up a bit. We haven't got a single potion either. Well, the artifacts have been very good, but the gods have not. Okay, here we go. They're all upgraded, so won't be bad. We still have five strikes, so this will be 15 plus 6, 21. Still worse than Carnage. And I'm gonna take the cleave. It's not the best, but I need something to fight with. Bottle flame. Well, we can start always with a cleave. I wish I had some better attack to use that with. It's kind of lame now. Well, it's decent. Especially if we get some strength improving stuff later on. Like the mutagenic strength or stuff like that. Oh, 
the early molten egg is actually pretty nice. If we can get far enough to actually benefit from it. Feel no pain. That should be great with the mummified hand. Yeah. Here's the shop finally. Anything good? Already upgraded Surin Blow. A bit late for that. Or is it? we have here this could actually be very good this would be even better but we cannot afford it elite combats 25 less HPs because the elites are horrible could buy this would make all enemies vulnerable and I could slice them all Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna save the rest. Okay, we have to beat one elite, but it's gonna be a bit weakened. Due to my artifact. And we have to cleave, so... Should be too bad. And they're all gonna be vulnerable to Excellent. Oh, we get one more good artifact. Cannot really exhaust stuff yet, so... Maybe we get free bash. Nope. I think I could have actually killed something with this. It would have been much better. Oh. Happens. I kill it with my next AoE attack. So I could just prep them up for that. But we might just actually draw tons of dazed cards, so maybe it's risky. Well, actually, this helps a lot because these dazed cards exhaust. So we get free block. Won't ever be really vulnerable. That well, wasn't too useful, but still interesting. Oh, this is also good. In flame. Okay, well now we can finally start building up something. It's also good with the mummified hand. Huh. Tough. Should I shock weapon? I guess. Now I can burst him later. This dude and get this guy a bit lower. Might as just as well. Okay. 
can't kill it yet anyway, so we can just as well use this. Okay, he's dead. Power true. This could be useful for AoE. I would have to upgrade it later. There's something I need to upgrade. Yeah, the inflate. Inflame card. Get more strong. There we go. Can actually use these now. Well, artifact is useful. Useless against this guy. Won't do anything. Okay, maybe we can burst it down before it has a chance to attack us. With the next attack, which is painful. I'm not really. But we can weaken it and make it more vulnerable. Yeah, it's not gonna be that painful. A bit painful, but not horrible. Hmm. I don't really wanna use this just yet. Could just get rid of some slime. Because this will actually drop it. Too low. Don't want to do it yet. I want to burst it better. Maybe like this. There we go. Now we have slimes with less health to begin with, and we might get a cleave. Better situation. Yeah, we can just drop you down before you get to do anything. Yeah, the strength helps a lot, actually. It adds up. Yeah. Very good. And you don't get to attack it. Oh, we could have removed one slime. Well, just a bit of me. My bad. Getting licked. Slightly disturbing, but at least we won kinda easily. Our deck was good for this one. Feed. Well, this will be kind of like free, free PowerPoint. We need more attacks. Could use speed. It's also exhausts. Make us a bit tougher. Two wounds. Transform everything here. <laughs> but they're not gonna get upgraded. Unless they're attacks, of course. But this is kinda hard choice. Well, if we get the evolve, we can kind of make this bearable. But not being able to smith anything is painful. Then again, we already have the card that gives us free attacks. I'm gonna take the fusion hammer and hope for the best. I don't want bloat. Bloat has been killing me so many times lately. Just too many guards. Okay, we can go through here and hope we survive one of these elites. They're painful now. I think I should just burst this straight away. 
Or maybe not. Yeah, I'll skip. Gonna use this first then. I wish I got the powers. I don't care. Just gonna get dazed. It's just gonna help me get some block. Interesting. I'm gonna get tons of block here. Almost no damage. Potion well spent. We get the attack potion. That's great. Not the best ones. I'd like to get the whirlwind and limit break. Okay, we're just gonna leave. Unfortunate. Ooh, this annoying dude. We'll weaken it. Make it less painful. Too bad they didn't get upgraded. really get through it anyway. I'm gonna try and eat you later. Gonna take a little bit of damage, but nothing horrifying. Yeah, limit break is the dream card right now. I think I could just kill you. These two. Should I? I could eat you. Next door. Next turn or turn after that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. Hopefully I don't have to regret it. Fifteen damage. Thank you. Got healed. Clash. No. Don't want any of these. The Pommer strike could be good. For shuffling purposes. Yeah, I'll take that. I think it will slow us down. And we do still have four strikes. I don't want to lose this much max HP. For the attacks. Yeah, they will not get upgraded though. And I will be only managed to get rid of one of the strikes, so this might actually be worth it. They get upgraded, right? I'm gonna try. Let's become vampires. Yep, they're all upgraded. That's nice. Now we're gonna try and get limit break to make us stronger. <laughs> it's the vampire build because we also have to feed. That's funny. 
Uh, no, limit break, but I'm not in flame. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> we could make like absolute vampire build with hemokinesis and bites and feeds. That would be funny. Yeah. Why not? Let's be the vampire. This build is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I'm gonna get rid of one of the bites. Maybe this will work, maybe it won't. Well, I can just as well recall. I should have actually waited for this so I could have bought the panel now. Yeah, it was a mistake because I knew there's another shop coming soon. Not too bad. Well, now we get to test our strength. Strength of our bite deck. I don't think it's very good. But it's gonna be fun. What's the point of this game if you cannot have fun? Okay, we don't need to bite anyone just yet, so we can just cleave. Should we actually make someone else vulnerable? Yeah, I'm gonna use this. It's gonna be painful, but we can just heal up later using our vampiric energy. Hopefully, if we don't die. Yet. Just gonna bite you dead. You're gonna prevent me from attacking. Now we could feed you. Or feed off you. Well, we are already blocking everything. Just the thing. This guy hurts a lot. I'm gonna do this because I'm not... I don't want to make this fight too long. Guess we're gonna get swarmed by this deck. Oh. More strength to begin. Quite nice. Ah, skip it. Okay, is there a way to avoid the leads? I think we can kind of take off the elites, but I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, here's a place to sleep. Yeah, I'll take this route. Seems chill. Question card. Bronze scales? We could just drain tank now. Oh, this is so fun. I love it. The crazy vampire deck. <laughs> if I'm actually managed to win with this, I'm gonna be so happy. Don't think so, but... Yeah, this is gonna hurt again. Guess these enemies are ridiculous. I hate the second chapter. Just gonna eat this guy. Get munching on this guy, getting our health back. Actually, use our bites. I'm 
get a free bite. Then we can you. Munch you up. You can actually drain tank of us too. That's funny. Glad to be a vampire. This could be good with the strength. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a bit heavy, unwieldy. Oh, it's gonna be <laughs> the down. Upgrade all strikes and defense. Well, this didn't count. It will be all the defense though. Which I'm still kinda using. I don't know. I don't really know what they should remove. Well, I will remove one of the defense. I just tried to drain tank like a crazy. Like a crazy person. This is so goofy. I'm a bit sad I got a detour right now. I'll try to eat one of them. Yeah, they're just gonna get healed anyway. Crazy. Can I bash through him? 16, 14, 14. Nope. Not enough. No real way to do that. Yeah, okay, now it's gonna hurt less. Still not good. Now we're frail too. Not that we have many ways to gain armor anyway. <laughs> so fun. Almost killing this guy. But no, I'm gonna try to heal up a bit with the vampire bites first. And feed off him. Awesome. <sighs> Is there any way to kill that crazy champ? Not sure. Can we scale up? Cloud slime, make him weaker. Mm -hmm. I think I'll need this to have a chance. Not sure. We need to do something goofy to beat this guy. Or just get lucky. One or the other. I think I'll save this one for this crazy form, or should I? Uh, no, I still have the weakening thing for the crazy form. And I can still bash him with it. This I will need to save for the crazy form. When you get him too low, he will become insane.
problem is that weakening him doesn't really do anything because he will still strike like madman. We actually get block for the attacks we use for the Hemokinesis. So. That's always nice. This for the final burst. I should probably wait out all these debuffs. Like I really can't because I cannot tank him. Not really. I think now he's gonna turn. Yep. Bad times ahead. I'm just gonna get rid of the vulnerable. Maybe I can weaken him. Yeah, these are gone. No more deep puffs. No more good times. Okay. Can weaken him only does 42 damage <laughs> because we are still vulnerable and we had no potions to prevent it either. Fine. Yeah, I think it's over. Execute. We're not gonna be able to survive this attack, no. Too bad. One potion and I think we could have done it. Too bad we still have lots of vulnerable we couldn't get rid. <laughs> but then again, I don't know. The vampire idea was kinda goofy. Well, that's what happens when you play a game with such RNG. You got to try being the vampire sometimes. I know, a bit sad for the clip with the potion. And I didn't get anything to really use my inflames with. I could have used the pommel very well if I had gotten it, but I goofed with the shop. So that probably was my biggest macro mistake. And I didn't get really good defense cards either. These are the only ones I have. So I think if you have gotten some other boss, I might have been able to do it. This is bad for this guy because it doesn't have enough burst to kill the later crazy half. And if he had the artifact potion for the vulnerable, then that could have maybe got us to the third chapter. And I think this deck could have actually beaten lo lots of the bosses from the third chapter, especially with limit break, with crazy damage from the bites. But yeah, it's not the best deck, but <laughs> I found it very funny, so I'm gonna upload this one. Thank you all for watching, see you next time at Tic Tac Tactics. Bye for now.